What's up, everybody? Big Herc916, and you tuned in to another edition of my vlog. I want to say thank you for subscribing. Thanks for all your support. Um, all you guys who supported me on Patreon, I want to say thank you for subscribing on Patreon. You know, I could be raw and cut over there and talk about the freaky tales. And I'm all about that positivity, motivation. And, uh, you know, I just want to share with you guys something, man, because I think it's, it's actually funny, man, that, you know, people have a tendency to make certain comments because you actually are a thinker and you're not following the herd mentality. You know, I, I've been called a coon. I've been called a sellout. I don't I don't love my own race. Um, I'm not black enough. I talk like a white person. Um, I'm funny style because I like to read and study and, and draw and do art. Um, I'm not gangster enough, you know, cause I, I talk proper and it's like, you know, you can never ever appease all these suckers and haters out there, man. So don't even try, just be yourself. You know, people think that being, uh, black means that you have to act a certain way or talk a certain way or uh, go with a certain uh, narrative and, and 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 be part of a certain group and that's some bullshit man you know I've seen plenty of, of people be themselves and have their own mindset and be very successful and and challenge the status quo and anytime these people have broke out the norm you know, people said, oh, you must have sold out. You're a sellout. You're the, you ain't trying to be like us, man. You trying to be funny style. You trying to, you want to be white, man. You know, you think you, you think you Mexican. Yeah, I have black, say, so, oh, the, you don't want to be Mexican because I had a Mexican celly in prison. So, dude, I've heard it all. And for most of these people who, you know, talk shit, they can never stand in my shoes. And they can never, uh, <laughs> handle the situations I've been in and overcame and and they couldn't even sit sit down in front of a book and challenge me in, in a study session in a study group because they couldn't hang so it would matter what form what what platform they could they couldn't they couldn't handle it and you know I've always been one of those guys who are uh uh different as far as I I have my own thoughts I I've always looked at things in question I've, I've never just went along with what everybody else said I've always questioned why is this and why is that and, and is that the truth and I've, I've always looked and just because I'm not uh, pumping my fist to a, a, a particular political group and I've researched and I, I look at things I know a lot of stuff is is a false narrative and you look at just different people and because some people you think that they're racist so you don't want to talk to them well man dude, if you're going to eliminate a whole group of people because you say they're all racist then dude you're stupid plain and simple you're you're a dumbass and i don't really want nothing to do with you anyways i wouldn't want to even be associated with you because if you group people like that then i know you ain't got no sense you follow a bunch of other people with the same mentality so i don't want to be around none of you guys so I, 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 I have a tendency to distance myself in general because I don't want to be, you know, uh, named with all them people, which are the jackass group. So if you are somebody who's been called uh, certain names because you're different, because you decide to speak your mind, you don't agree with uh, the group is doing, you, you know, you don't want to pack a pistol. You don't want to sag your pants. You don't want to uh, talk with, with whatever uh, slang or whatever. You want to talk proper in whatever environment and then talk accordingly, whatever environment or however you want to do it or however you want to dress. People want to chastise you, man. F them, man. F them and keep being you because that's what's going to make you successful, man. You know, as you find your identity, you will begin to see more about yourself and realize that you've been holding yourself back because you've been trying to be like somebody else. You've been trying to let somebody else define you. And that's one of the biggest things. That's one of the biggest problems in our culture is that everybody, when they hear something, they automatically say, oh, he's racist. You know, somebody could look at me and say, oh man, that guy is an ex-felon. He should be in prison. And they never talk to me. Oh, that guy's hella, he's black and he's hella big, man. He's probably a thug. That guy, 
that guy, uh, he talks funny. He, he's probably, he, he thinks he wants to be white. Don't know shit about me. But this is the type of stuff you deal with. Oh, he's a coon. I'm a coon. <laughs> it done, done been in every situation a, a, a person can be in for who I am. But, uh, you know, I'm a coon. I'm telling you, man, some of these brothers, man, I try to help them and lace them up. And, and they, they, they get, they're so, you know, just ignorant when it comes to knowledge. And they haven't read anything. They don't know anything about true history or anything about, like, just... Uh, 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 what it means to have self, spirituality, for one. They lack in all that. Most of them are on, you know, the, the whatever drugs has got their mind so convoluted that they can't even really see what the play is. And that's, that's one of the big things. But, you know, I just keep pushing, keep lacing you guys up, keep giving you game, keeping you motivated. Don't judge nobody. You know, I've been around, you know, just everything, man. You know, I've, I've had family members that were gay, family members that are white, family members that are, are, are part Mexican. You know, I've been in, you know, around all white people, all Hispanic people, all, uh, you know, this various Asian people. I mean, just everything. And I just I don't judge anybody by a group. I talk to a person. I listen. I learn. You know, I'm almost 50 in the game, man. And I'm still learning. When I was 21, 22, 23, 24, I thought I knew I didn't know shit. I was, man, I wish I would have had the game I had now and been on top of my uh, um, P's and Q's. Man, I, I would have been on a whole nother level, but I didn't have that game because I wasn't, I wasn't laced up. So I try to keep you guys laced up, but a lot of ignorance going around out there. You guys be careful, watch yourself. You know, a lot of guys, you know, they, they hate, you know, they, they mad because you're not a part of their political party or political whatever. And, you know, don't even get into the political conversation with a lot of people, man, because people are acting off emotion and they think these people are going to really help them, man. You got to help yourself. And then at the top of it, when you keep trying to force somebody to be how you are, you need to be who you are. And if they want to be where you're at, let them elevate to where you're at. But don't waste your time, man. A lot of these people. But I'm going to keep putting videos out, man, because, it, it, you know, come on, dude. A little comment ain't gonna break me down or make me cry, hurt my feelings. It, <laughs> I'd have been in dark, cold places, man, that most of you guys are, 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 are just give up on life at. So, Big Herc 916, stay positive, motivated, stay laced up.